Ooh, check out that hat. Did you guys even know that Leatherman made hats? Because I sure didn't. This is a nice piece. I like a nice hat. But we're not here to talk about the hat. We're here to talk about Leatherman Free. Is it a game changer? We'll find out in a minute. This is the P4. Let's get started. Now I've carried a lot of different multi-tools here in my collection. I have everything from uh, Swiss Army knives uh, of different types all the way up to tiny little keychain type multi-tools up to the real big guns. The Leatherman Free sort of stands in a category of its own and uh, it's really impressing me so far. Now I want to let you guys know Leatherman did send me this Leatherman Free for free, yeah. It's, uh, it was a gift from Leatherman. They in no way said I had to do anything about it or, or say anything positive. They just wanted to send one because they wanted to hear my thoughts on it. And uh, I really, really appreciate that. It's always nice when I get to check out new gear and it doesn't eat into my budget. And you guys get to hear my thoughts and comments on it as well, which you may not otherwise because money doesn't come easy these days. Let's do a quick unboxing here. Of course, I've been using mine for a little while now, so this has been open, but I just put it back together. Very nice box, stating the features, some pictures or whatnot. Slide out the bottom, and you have another piece of card stock here. How to use your Leatherman, so it's got some info there for you. And there you have it, fitted in this sort of... Uh, this is, seems like a paper type material, molded paper. You have your sheath and your Leatherman. So pretty simple here. The sheath is actually really nice. I have the sheath for my Wave as well. It's pretty similar to that. They're made pretty tough. Really heavy duty material. I like this through snap design here that Leatherman uses. It's a really cool idea and it makes for a tougher top half here as well. This is not going to tear out. You see it's kind of a stretch Stretch nylon on the side there. Very nice, that gray is a nice clean color. I like it. Let's get over to the good stuff. Now we'll get to a philosophy of use in a few minutes, finding out if this multi-tool is right for you. I just want to get clear something up real quick. I'm not going to really be talking much about quality in this video because this is an American-made product, tried and true Leatherman. You know what you're getting. The Leatherman always puts out a quality tool, and this, of course, is no different. That's not what the selling point is is with this multi-tool. It's not that it's made with better materials or that it's uh, assembled in some special way. That's not really what we're talking about when we talk about Leatherman's. I mean we have the wave here if you want to compare it to something. Of course uh, the standards are the same across the board. We have a wonderfully made multi-tool here. Now I want to say that the Leatherman Free is not made to compete with other multi-tools like the wave. It's not a competitor with the wave. It's a multi-tool made in its own category. So it's new engineering, it's a new design. It's not a competitor like I said. It's a different tool set, different features. But let's just use the wave for a minute here because the wave is kind of my benchmark. I, it's my favorite multi-tool, my absolute favorite. Let's just give you a size comparison because I know there are a lot of waves out there. So you can see it's a little bit longer than the wave. A little tiny bit thicker. Not really, uh, not really worth mentioning. Okay, a little bit wider. So in each dimension I think it's just a, a touch larger than the wave. The body there might be the same thickness or pretty close to it. Weight mm, feels pretty similar. I'm not sure what the what they weigh in ounces, but it feels pretty similar. But let's talk about now where this multi-tool, the Leatherman Free, really stands out. What makes it so different? So the specific features that make this multi-tool different from all the rest is exactly what I love about it. For one, it's designed to be a one-handed opening multi-tool. And if you've ever opened something like the Wave, which is which is pretty stiff and this one has been worn a long time but it's not going to be real easy to open that with one end and you have that resistance all the way out there okay it's just a tough multi-tool to open it really it requires two hands this Leatherman Free is held together with a magnet here and when it opens it's swinging free kind of like a balisong type deal. And uh, that is a beautiful feature to have because it's really quick opening. I'll still use two hands for opening it just out, of, uh, just out of habit. But it can be opened 
with one hand, as you can see, very quickly, very efficiently, and then they kind of have that, uh, let me just show you here, how they positively snap into place. And then you have those beautiful pliers and cutters there. But that's one big feature, is how this thing moves. Everything just moves so well in it. The next feature, and I think this might be the best feature on this multi-tool, it's where it blows the wave away, in my opinion. Again, not a wave competitor, but I like this m feature more than the wave, and that is all tools are available on the outside. So if you'll notice, there are no tools on the inside of this multi. So just comparison to give you context. With the Wave, you need to open it up to get at those tools. With the Free, everything's on the outside. And of course you have a wonderful tool set. The other thing to note is that every single tool is a locking tool. So I'll quickly show you how that locking system works. So that blade, of course, is perfectly solid in the lockup. And you just push. Can you see that? You just push that out of the way and that catches the heel of that blade, or the locking position of that blade. So very effective, and every single one of your tools lock with these two locks here. Now those are the features that really set this multi-tool apart. Let's quickly run over the tool set. Let's see how efficiently I can get through it, just so you guys know. Again, this is a P4 model. So we have saw blade, spring scissors, sheep's foot style 420HC, blade, serrated tanto chisel tip blade, cap lifter and can opener, an awl, wire stripper, and fine tip flat top screwdriver, all in one there, medium sized flat tip screwdriver, a little wire stripper feature here, and a measuring device. So that wire stripper feature actually works fantastic for all your like standard size accessory wire that you would be wiring up a set of lights on the truck or something like that. Say, so you just have a nicely ground piece of steel here. Let me just snip it all the way around. And we can draw off the coating on a piece of wire just like that. It's also nice, of course, again, this is one-handed opening. Um, you've got those snaps. But notice, I can have those open while those cutters are open. So if you're doing a lot of repeated work, where you need to keep that open, you can leave those cutters there. So that's, that's really, really effective. Nice to have those on there. We have a single cut and a bi-cut file here for wood and metal, which is, uh, which is really nice. We have a standard Phillips head screwdriver, a really heavy duty flat top, and I would call a pry bar as well. You have two torque screws right here with a lanyard piece attached. This is where you can also get the added pocket clip if you want it to wear it without a sheath. Lastly, we have a set of beautiful heavy duty pliers here, of course, which is like the standout piece of this tool. And we have those replaceable wire cutters, which is a beautiful feature to have on this multi tool. I wish my Wave had those replaceable cutters. It's also nice to note that although you have a really meaty, heavy-duty set of pliers, these things come to a perfect tip. And all of the uh, Leatherman tools I've had, and I've had quite a few now, come to just the finest point tip, which for an EDC multi-tool um, is really a necessity in my opinion. I mean, these can take out anything that uh, a pair of tweezers would take out. They're probably more precise than any pair of tweezers I've used as they come to that perfect machine tip. Now for philosophy of use, the part of the video that most of you are probably here for, to find out if this multi-tool is for you. I've come to find over the years that that's highly dependent on the kind of lifestyle you live. So your occupation and the things you like to do in your hobby time. If you're say a teacher or a doctor or a preacher, or uh, <laughs> someone that's often in nice dress clothes. This is probably not your multi-tool, even though it has a beautiful tool set. Um, it has probably heavier pliers than you'll ever need for your job. And it's, it's a little bit big and heavy for those types of clothes. You're probably not going to want that sheath on your, on your hip, and you're probably not going to want to wear it, that big clunky thing in your pocket 
Now, if you're a full-on tradesman or you're a craftsman um, or you're in a setting, something like myself, where you're just always working on projects, always working on something, um, the Wave might be a better option. And the only reason I say that is because of that bit driver. That's what's missing, in my opinion, on the Leatherman Free. And for me, that's really important to have those full sets of bits that you get with the Wave. It's just so, so useful to me. I think the Leatherman Free fits best for like the, the outdoorsman, the hobbyist, kind of general craftsman, um, the tinkerer, everyday use guy if you're working in say a factory or that type of deal and it's handy to have a, a, a tool set on you. The Leatherman Free is that multi-tool and it might be the perfect option for the tradesman as well. I mean when time is money and you can open with one hand that quickly that's hard to beat you can't do that with the wave if you're holding on say some wires as an electrician and you don't want to let it go um, to be able to just flick that open so quickly with one hand is kind of an, an expendable feature it is is so great long story short fantastic multi-tool assembled really well with Torx you have stainless materials you have a beautiful tool set awesome multi-tool and being able to get that open like that never gets old also all those tools available on the outside hard to beat that all locking really great tool set I love it let me know down in the comment section what you think what's the better multi-tool for you what would you pick for your lifestyle that way we could get an idea of uh, different multi-tools for different lifestyles what has worked better if you have some experience with them already Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Thank you to Leatherman for supplying the Leatherman free for this video for us all to take a look at. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video.